Okay, so Paul from Los Angeles, California asks, can I use various brands of servos, including digitals, with the DX7? Yeah, absolutely. All commonly available servos, including digital, analog, in fact, any size servos that are currently available can be used with the DX7 as well as the DX6. Um, a lot of people ask that question, and uh, quite frankly, like I said, all servos from any major brands, including JR, obviously, Futaba, Hi-Tech, Basically, if you can go into a hobby shop nowadays and buy a servo, any size, type, and brand, that type of servo will work with the DX6 as well as the DX7. You know, it's really, uh, it's interesting that an awful lot of people also ask how, uh, what the voltage range is on these receivers. And in fact, the voltage range on the AR7000 and the AR6000 is much wider range voltage and a much higher range voltage than with conventional receivers. In fact, they're good for up to 9.6 volts. So for people that want to use four cells or five cell battery packs, no problem. In fact, the limitation is the servo, not the receiver. And in fact, for servos that are good for you know up to seven and eight volts, that's no problem. You know, if you want to use a two cell LiPo pack, as long as the servos can handle it, the receiver, no problem. Well, that certainly is a good question and, and being able to use other manufacturer servos uh, certainly expands the possibilities of this radio system. It sure does. All right, and I got one last question here from Frank Bloomington uh, from Bloomington, Illinois, mm -hmm. and he asks, "What is the range of the DX7, and can I fly large-scale airplanes or large gas or glow-powered helicopters with this system?" Yeah, you know, even 72 megahertz, you, you can't give a definitive range because there are so many variables. 2.4 gigahertz is the same way. You know, you'll see in some specifications, 3,000 feet, 5,000 feet, whatever the range may happen to be. The reality is with 72 megahertz or any system, it's totally relative to the conditions of the day. You know, is it, it's ground to air, it's what falls between, it has things even to do with your particular installation. The reality is the DX7 with the AR7000 has more range than you can possibly see when you install it in the types of aircraft that it's designed for. And I personally have flown the DX7 hundreds and hundreds, probably thousands of times. And I gotta tell you, I've flown it in like 33% airplanes when we have telemetry in the airplane that allows us to tell exactly how high and how far away the airplane is. We can fly well over 700 meters, and that's as far as we can physically see a third scale bright yellow airplane, and we still have full control. Wow. So the answer that's to that amazing. question is, it is amazing. And the answer to the question is, it will fly farther than you can see any of the airplanes and helicopters that it's appropriate to go in. To give you a hard number, it's relative to conditions, but in all conditions, we found that it will go farther than you can see. That's incredible, John. Well, I certainly appreciate you taking the time to let us discuss this new radio and the spread spectrum technology all together and taking the time out of your day here in your, in your beautiful shop and we we'll really look forward to flying this some more. That's great. Hope to see you at the field. So this wraps up our look in the Spectrum's new DX7. I think you can see why we're so excited about this revolutionary new radio technology. Now you can fly what you want, when you want. Until next time, I'm Mike Sinarecki. Thanks for joining us.